Welcome to my unboxing of the Rocket Kova. This is designed in Germany. You know the Germans always make good stuff. Anyway. <laughs> so this is an optical gaming mouse. It's featuring ambidextrous design, which means you can use it with your left or your right hand. It has easy configuration because it is driverless. Personally, I always prefer driverless mice because that means that you don't have to install some bloated application just to use your mouse. You might have to install some bloated application in order to actually configure it. I haven't used a raw cat mouse before, so this will be my first one. But once you've done that, you go ahead, you plug it into any system from there, and it stores all the settings on the mouse itself. So let's see what they have to say for themselves. Customizable light system. Very cool. I'm a big fan of customizable light system. You can change the color. Easy handling. I'm not sure what they mean by that, but... Uh, oh, okay. Non-slip stabilization surface. Okay. Driverless configuration. We've already talked about that. Enhanced optical sensor. They're saying this is a pro optical sensor. Grip tech side area and a V shape. Here you can see they allow you to customize the lights. Have your mouse illuminated in your favorite color. They show a whole little rainbow there. Very, very cool. All right, moving around to the other side. Great packaging. I love the way they do their packaging. Kova is part of the Rocket SM SDMS. Organize your gaming zone in a space-saving and neat way. As part of the smart desktop management system, the Kova integrates perfectly with the gaming peripherals on your desktop. All right, then. Let's open it up, shall we? So I have my handy dandy unboxing knife here, which I will use to open the handy dandy box. Slice and slice. Five plus two buttons is another thing that they mention on the top of the box here that is not mentioned elsewhere. And that it is ultra light. Personally, I always used to prefer a bit of a heavier mouse, but then I moved over to using an Akari laser for my daily driver. And uh, that is a very light mouse as well, and I have now been converted to preferring a light mouse. So, who knows? This one might be quite appealing to me. Alright, why don't we show the included accessories first, then we'll have a look at the Kova itself. So, AS must stand for accessories. Actually, probably not. Overall, very good packaging, though. Here's a quick installation guide, important document. Cameraman's fussing at the mouse right now. All right, change light effects. So you can change the lights uh, here. Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, neat. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so connect to the computer, switch hand mode. So you can change by pressing four and six. So these two side buttons, while you plug it in, you can change from right to left handed mode. That's smart. Cool. You don't actually have to go into any kind of driver. Um, uh, any kind of software application. Okay, neat. So here's all the uh, standard configurations for right-handed mode. All right, you press four and six while it's plugged in to set the light effect to breathing, full, or no illumination. So you just press those together and you can change the lighting mode. Very cool. All right, you can change the DPI using these buttons right here. So the one on this side and the one on this side. That's a very smart place to have the DPI change because normally they're located somewhere like kind of here on the mouse. And it's very challenging to reach that in the middle of a game. Like if the theory is that you're using different DPI for sniping or for uh, standard play and you're changing on the fly, then you need it located somewhere much more convenient than that. So having it somewhere like on the side where you can zoom in, change your DPI, zoom out, change your DPI, very, very convenient. Change the breathing mode. You can set the breathing mode to change color after one, two, or three breaths, or holding the color after each breath by pressing these two buttons together. And you can change your color, look at that, by pressing these buttons together. Change breathing mode, change color. So let's have a look at the mouse itself. It's got your standard USB cord on it. Nothing really to say about that. It's got a little Rocket logo there on the end of the USB. Okay, so here's the Kova branding. We've got uh, very, very grippy rubber surfaces. Here, you can actually hear it squeak. There you go. On the left side, as well as the right side of the mouse, so that allows you to hold the mouse quite securely. All right, so I would say this is more of a claw or or like a uh, more of a claw or fingertip grip style mouse. It's not really suitable for palming because it is quite small. You've got a great scroll wheel here. So it can be, because of its shape, it can be easily used with the right hand or with the left hand because you see how it has that uh, 
that ridge in the center. So that means that you, at the angle that you would naturally be using it is very flat, whereas most mouse, mouse wheels are actually flat on the top and it's an, an unnatural angle to, uh, to come at it from. Okay, we've got more lighting effects here as well as here. Your standard left and right mouse click buttons are here and here. And then at the bottom we find the Pro Optic sensor. So why don't we go ahead and go uh, plug it in. Give me just a moment here, guys. So here's the lighting effects, guys. You can see I have it on breathing mode right now. You can see the red light at the back, the red lights on the top. You can change the color by clicking like this. Just as they say, oh wait, is that the breathing mode one? Hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, I think that's the breathing mode one. Okay, so I think this must be the color change one. There we go, there's green. Change it again. There's other more different green. There's blue. There's other more different blue. Let's see what else we got here. Purple. Does it have another more different purple? No, it goes back to blue. Red. Very cool. So the lighting is that easy to customize. I would say this is my favorite, the dark green. Very nice color. And, uh, yeah, or that one, actually. That one's really good, too, that dark blue. So there you go. That is my unboxing of the Rockat Kova. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. While cameraman and I were putting the Kova back in the box, we found a very interesting thing that we missed during the unboxing. So here's a little story about a reindeer race getting out of control, and then you go and on day one you find a lake, and then on day two you have some scuba divers and some technicians, and on day three there's some kind of a surveillance project exploring a subsurface glacier on day four. It's like a, like an ops, secret ops journal or something. You intercept some email correspondence. Good job. That sounds really interesting. Please handle this issue without distracting too much attention. Da da da, our personnel file. And then I guess we take out the personnel guy. Ooh, here's our contact person. And then there's some analysis in the Rockat Laboratories. And finally, you can join the organization. Are you prepared to become a Rocketeer? So I have no idea what that's for, but it includes an ID card. So there you go.